All right, just a little disclaimer before I begin. Listen, I understand I kind of went off on a tangent. I haven't really made a gaming or a hip hop video in a few weeks now, maybe even a month. But due to like things that happened within the past week or so, I feel like a video like this was necessary because I tend to make videos that are inspired by things that happen in my life and it helps me cope with the problems that I have and it also allows me to help you guys solve your problem. And I get to make you laugh along the way because you know I like making you guys laugh and stuff. So that's, that's the best part. So without further ado, here is how to deal with heartbreak. Now we've all dealt with heartbreak. And if you haven't, you lucky son of a bitch, I fucking hate you, I hope you die in your sleep. But heartbreak is a common thing of life. It sucks, it's terrible, whatever. And whether it's heartbreak by, you know, being thrown in the friend zone or breaking up with the ex or whatever, it it's gonna suck. And being someone that has recently gone through a breakup, I know how bad it can be. But it is a good time to reflect and grow into a better person. So first things first, you just had your breakup, you're depressed all the time, you're kind of walking around the place like, life's over. I'm never gonna be with anybody. I suck. I'm gonna kill myself today. Dead inside. And that's completely understandable. Give yourself time to be an emotional wreck. Give yourself time to be angry. Give yourself time to call whoever broke your heart or whoever did whatever to you just to just call this dude all this type of names. Go off, be mad, be sad. Do whatever you need to do. Just make sure you don't make it last for too long. If you sit there and get mad all the time, you just sit there and act depressed all the time, you're just gonna end up being depressed for the rest of your life and nobody wants to be depressed, right? So I'm gonna say give yourself a day to just be angry and let all your emotions run out. You're gonna cry, it's inevitable. Even if you're a dude, you're gonna cry. You're gonna wanna call this person, you're gonna wanna text this person, do not do that. You're gonna wanna do everything that you're not supposed to do. Just let it all go, do not contact this person, just let it slide be angry, do what you gotta do. Now the next phase is the start to your recovery. Now you were mad, you were sad, you said everything you had to say, you let all your tears out, now you're empty. You're like an empty shell, you're just waiting for something to, I don't know, lift you up. Now that you're an empty shell, you have to fill that empty shell with nothing but greatness. Think about it like this, you were with this person and you were thinking about this person for however long you were. This could have been maybe a month or maybe a few years, I don't know. But now you have time to do other things with your life because this person is no longer a part of your life. The hardest part of heartbreak is finding out who you were when you fell for this person. You gotta find that person and you gotta find them fast and you gotta find that person through your friends and through what you like to do. Remember when you just sat down and played Street Fighter all fucking day? You can now do that again. Remember those days where you just like to watch cartoons the whole day through but every time you got into the good part, Bay would text you out of nowhere and you'd just be like, Oh my god, just 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 leave me alone. Just go away. I'm I'm busy. I'm watching something. You can do what you want now. If you think about it like that, it's more liberating than something that's breaking you inside. And I'm not saying it's easy to think like this, but you know, just try to get used to being by yourself or being with people that does not include that person that broke your heart. If you're too scared to be alone, surround yourself with friends. Do something fun. Go out and party. Play video games with your bros. Do something. Do not seclude yourself and just sit there in your thoughts because if you do, you're gonna text this person and you're only gonna make the situation completely worse. Be you. Be you, people. Be you. And the most important part of this phase is that I notice a lot of people do something like this. I'm so depressed. I don't know what to do. Uh... I know what to do. I'm going to go on every single dating app and find a whole bunch of people to talk to and just be the biggest hoe of all. No. No, you cut that shit out. Cut that out right now. Don't do that. The problem with that is, is that people are just so quick to find another relationship to throw themselves in right after they just broke up with somebody or right after they just got rid of somebody in their life or whatever. Like I said, you have to give yourself time to recover. You don't want to go to this person broken as shit and you just go to them like, Hey, my name's Steve. I'm sad like all the time and uh, my hobbies are crying, crying, masturbation, and crying. 
You want to see a movie? You're not. You're not going to the movies with anyone, sir. I'm sorry. You're not. That's it. It, it won't work out. You gotta give yourself time to become a real nigga. Once you become a real nigga, you could do whatever you want. Become the best person that you can be. Become the best you. Only you can do that, and that's not with someone being by your side. That's by you, you nigga, you. You gotta do it by yourself, nigga. So just surround yourself with the people that you love, the people that you care about, the people that won't fuck you up for the rest of your life. And just be happy with them. Just enjoy your time with them. And trust me, it will feel great when you when you have that one day where you just don't think about this person that ruined you. And you're just like, I really miss these times, man. I really miss just, just not being miserable about a female or about a male. It just feels great. And the last step, move on, bro. It sucks, I know. You don't want to move on, you're in the back of your mind, you're hoping maybe this person might come back, maybe I might get a second chance. And I'm not saying you won't, maybe you will, but you're not going to get that second chance by just stalking this person's Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn or whatever. You gotta do your own thing, get used to being single, just like I said, be the best you that you can be. Trust me, once you recover, you're gonna feel great and you're gonna wanna get back in the dating game and you're gonna be stronger than you've ever been. You gotta be a Saiyan, bro. You gotta use that Zenkai boost. When, when love knocks you down, you gotta get back up stronger and just give yourself time to train. Train the hyperbolic time jaber. And after you're done training, go out there and fuck up Cell. Focus on you, that's the most important thing right now. Focus on who you need to become and what you need to do. That way, when you get back into the dating game, you're gonna be stronger than ever. You get to go Super Saiyan God on these hoes. And before anyone says anything, this is not me, you know, trying to throw my problems onto people and trying to bash my ex and trying to do whatever, no. I just feel that this happens to a lot of people and you know, for someone like me, I'm extremely emotional, so I didn't know what to do. But really thinking about it, you just gotta be who you are. If this person didn't love you for you, then you gotta find someone that does. I'm not trying to bash anyone, I'm not trying to throw my problems to the people. I'm trying to do the best that I can to take my problems, put it into perspective and try to help you guys with how I try to solve my problem. Now I'm not saying I'm recovered, it's not that easy. I'm, I'm you know, there's still pain, it's still there, but Day by day, man, just cope, you'll be fine. And as for your ex, don't hate this person. Don't do it. Hate is a terrible, terrible thing. You're gonna hate this person in the beginning, trust me. But hate is gonna push you down a road that you do not wanna be a part of. So just, just know that you know this person missed out on something amazing, cause you're amazing. Cause you're watching my video and you're a human being. And you'd be even more awesome if you subscribe to my channel. Well, that's it for today. Like I said, I'm so sorry for going on a tangent and just not making any gaming videos. Last week I made a president video, now I'm talking about breakups. Like, people are probably just like, Marcus, what the fuck you doing, man? I wanna see more video games and more laughter and more commercials and hip hop. Where's that hip hop at, nigga? Don't worry, I'm working on it. I'm still trying to, you know, gather all my thoughts, still trying to recover, still trying to not freak the fuck out from school and shit. It's, a, it's really stressful being 21, people. I don't care what you say. But fuck my problems. You know what you guys gotta do. Like, share with your friends, comment, subscribe, do your thing. And don't forget, guys, you're amazing. If anybody has brought you down or made you feel broken, don't let that person take you down because you are awesome and you deserve greatness. But yep, that's it. I feel great right now. Whew. I'll see you guys next week. Bump, 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 bump.